We present Deep Reflectance Fields, a new method for inferring high-quality facial reflectance fields from color gradient illumination. Acquiring a full reflectance field typically requires a performer to hold a static pose for multiple seconds while they are imaged under hundreds of one-light-at-a-time lighting conditions. This procedure, however, makes the acquisition of dynamic performances particularly challenging, requiring high-speed cameras and a delicate alignment of the images as to simulate a static scene. In contrast, we propose a novel technique that relies on just two lighting conditions containing spherical color gradient illumination. Even when arbitrary motion is performed, capturing these two conditions sequentially results in largely aligned images. From these images, we can then use a deep neural network to directly regress an image of the subject as if they were illuminated from an arbitrary spotlight direction. By regressing an appropriate set of such spotlight images, it is straightforward to leverage an environment map to perform photorealistic relighting using known and reliable techniques. Our method leverages a light stage, a spherical dome onto which hundreds of programmable lights have been mounted, as to precisely control illumination. We acquire ground truth data by imaging the subject under 331 one light at a time lighting conditions, as well as under two spherical color gradient illumination conditions. Every 10 frames, we acquire a fully lit tracking frame that can be used to perform a global alignment between frames. We emphasize, though, that such an alignment is completely unnecessary at test time. We then learn to directly regress from the two gradient images to a spotlight image, such as one of the one light at a time images we have captured using the light stage. We leverage a UNet-like architecture that takes as input the two gradient images and a lighting direction. The lighting direction is concatenated to each pixel value. Multiple encoding and decoding stages with skip connections are employed to regress the final output image. For additional details, the viewer is encouraged to refer to the paper. We will now take a look at some results. Here we show only unseen subjects that are not present in the training set. Notice how our method is able to accurately infer one light at a time images from just the two gradient illumination conditions. High frequency details, such as specularities on the eyes, forehead, and nose are accurately recovered. Further, our method is able to regress spotlight images with lighting directions that are not present in the one light at a time images contained within the training set. As such, we can actually sample illumination directions at a much finer scale than the 331 directions supported by the light stage. We show here how our algorithm generalizes to unseen viewpoints. Notice how the network correctly infers shadows, which hints that it has learned some underlying geometric representation. We can also handle sequences containing arbitrary motion since we only require capturing two input spherical gradient images. Notice that for these sequences, we would not be able to capture ground truth one light at a time images as the subjects are moving during the performance. We now demonstrate the full relighting capability of our system. We use arbitrary environment maps and compute weights using the predicted one light at a time images. Here we compare the system with direct use of the ground truth one light at a time images, as well as the cosine law illumination scheme proposed by Pfeiffertau. We can also relight sequences of subjects performing arbitrary expressions. Finally, we compare a method with state-of-the-art relighting approaches. In contrast to our method, these other methods struggle to model the specularities in the eyes and hair. Thanks for watching.